Well, hello. So I want to first thank my new subscribers. I'm not going to give you a name because you might want to be anonymous. Mr. B and Mrs. L, love you for subscribing. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos brought you over. And just all my subscribers, let me know what kind of videos brought you over, what kind of videos you would like to see. I'll try to finagle. I know some of you came in with Transformers and it's like, <laughs> I'm trying, kids. Let me know. Send me your Transformer designs and maybe I can share them with other people. But today we're going to talk about me and you and feeling awkward in society and being in a room and feeling judged by other people. Are you a weirdo? Do you have weirdo moments? Well, I'm going to talk about a weirdo moment and I'm going to talk about, um, you know, the various elements that I could have learned, that they could have learned, you know, various elements as to where I am right now in my consciousness of understanding the reality. So I went to a protest about horse racing in California and it was cool. You know, I, 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 I liked it. I felt the energy. People were, were, were excited that we're, you know, coming through and whatnot, but I felt left out. And I, and, I, and I felt astray. I felt like I wasn't part of the group. I felt like, and I think this is, happens a lot, actually. Perhaps it's my perception, but, you know, maybe your perception as well. When you go to a group, a church, an organization, you feel like sometimes there's a click. And you try to break into that click. And sometimes even trying to break into that click make me, make, makes you feel awkward. Like, who are you? Why are you trying to bring you know, all these questions? And it was like, I just want to be a part, you know? So, and people feel awkward, and it becomes this resonance, and then you feel awkward, and then it just grows that whole awkwardness. And it happens in, and sometimes with churches, sometimes with people have different expectations in churches. I happen to like the boys and the ladies. Uh, not the boys, literally, that's gross. <laughs> like the men and the ladies, but more specifically, <laughs> people have a weird sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> not attracted to most people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but back to what the awkwardness. And on top of that, I believe that I'm Jesus. So, you know, you, you're dealing with all of that. <laughs> you know, so I oftentimes, and I think it's very helpful whenever I'm helping an organization, I just come out and say it. I don't want any pretenses. I don't want any, I, I just, I'm an open book and I let you know what I am and who I am and what my intention is to heal the world. So I just come out and I was like, I may be Jesus, you know, that, and then that really, you know, people are like, uh, and then I throw in, you know, to make them feel, well, I act, I see what happens and I try to behave as Jesus. So, you know, that makes them feel a little bit more comfortable, but the words are still out there and that's definitely awkward. So I'm an awkward person. And as being an awkward person, I've gained various different judgments because people have their preconceived notions as to what the reality is, how people is. They look at you and they put you in a box. And then when you jump out of that box and you jump onto another box and you keep jumping different boxes, it just confuses the hell out of them. And they don't, the only thing that they can, and it scares them because their safe space has been completely disrupted. And then the more you get to know me, your safe space is even more disrupted, depending on whether you treat me with kindness or you treat me with hatred. You know, if you treat me with hatred, then I have to, like, call the angels and be like, don't, relax, calm down, because angels can be good and bad. <laughs> what does that mean? No, there's no good and bad. That's a whole different discussion. It's just about learning and growing and evolving. But if you're kind to me and you're open to the blessings that I may give you, then my army comes in and it's like, okay, let's have a party. Let's make it happen. Let's prove to you that this is who you're dealing with. So all of that context, all of that context comes into play. And I think that my initial response, of course, the initial response of anybody when they're judged is to be like, what's going on? You know, and to be a little, and, and I think that, not uh, in that sense, but to kind of stand off and just close myself up and just be. Because I know that I'm a huge personality that overpowers all personalities. <laughs> so I just close down and I be. 
I be a part, I be a, an element, I be a little ant in the cause, in the movement. I don't move any judgment, I don't have any thoughts, any ideas. I allow the judgment to flow through me, in through me, misconceptions, preconceptions. I allow them all to just flow through and move with the movement of what I need to do, which is say horses. And so that's, an, or whatever it is, the cause that I do. I think that sometimes when we're confronted with judgment, even within a situation, I haven't been to the Kabbalah Center in quite a long time. <laughs> because some people said some stuff and I was just like, I was just trying to give your child a test sticker because <laughs> I bumped into him, okay? So come the fuck down. <laughs> and you need to apologize to me. <laughs> so you know who you are. <laughs> If you're watching this video, you tell him. You say to him, I know, we're all psychic. <laughs> we know who he's talking about. And that's why he hasn't been going. Because people shouldn't be treated like that. And so there's a certain level of, you know, revelation of light that happens in life. And I think that um, as an individual, you navigate your central spot. You know that mercy's going to win. Mercy's going to win. The light of the creator. You have no skin. You have no shell. You're nothing. When you leave, you die, you come back, you reunite, the energy doesn't destroy itself. So ultimately, mercy and giving is the true answer. But how do we get there? You know, because we can get pissed off. <laughs> but we try to share. So let me know in the comment section down below. How do you try to share? How do you handle the situations when you feel awkward? You feel like, <laughs> you know, what do you do? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful eternity, especially to Mr. L and Miss B. No, Mr. B and Miss L, who I really appreciate that you took the time to subscribe to this channel. So let me know in the comment section down below, again, what you would like to see from me. Take care. I wish you a wonderful eternity.